Now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The Sacramento County Sheriff says a man was shot and killed just before 2 a.m. this morning at a gas station on Florin and Power Inn Roads. Officers say he died at the scene. No word on who the man was or any suspects in the case. Major delays on US 50 westbound this morning after a truck carrying cows rolled over. The CHP says no people were injured, but they were unsure about any injuries to animals. The ramp was back open by 3 p.m. One person was killed and another was hurt after an early morning shooting at the El Dorado Club on Sacramento Street in Lodi. Both victims are men. The injured victim is currently in critical but stable condition at the hospital. No arrests have been made. A police chase ended with a crash on Highway 88 in Lockford. The San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office says no one was injured. The crash happened just after noon today. At least one person was arrested. The Sacramento County Sheriff says one person was shot near an apartment complex on Fair Oaks Boulevard in Fair Oaks. They say that he was shot twice and rushed to the hospital. It happened around 1 this morning. No word on his condition tonight. One person was rescued from the American River today. Metro Fire says the person was taken to the hospital in critical condition. We're told they were not wearing a life vest. This fire hydrant started to flood parts of downtown Chico after a crash there. The fire department says two people had minor injuries. Thankfully, the hydrant was shut off before any businesses had serious water damage. The federal government is now asking Texas to remove buoys placed in the Rio Grande to prevent migrants from swimming across into Texas. Some of those floating devices are wrapped in barbed wire. The state says it has the legal authority to, quote, protect its border via the U.S. and Texas state constitution. This video from the Ohio State Highway Patrol shows a chopper using a night vision camera to find a three-year-old missing boy. Police say he'd been missing for several hours. The boy was spotted in a soybean field and reunited with his family. An event was held in Mexico City this weekend centered around dog health. Owners were able to bring in their pups to get vaccines and tests at a reduced cost. The event's director says close to 60 percent of people in Mexico have a dog, so they are trying to raise awareness about caring for pets. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.